right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm going to have a lot of updates coming your guys' way with everything that's going on with this whole coronavirus. And I'm sure a lot of people are staying at home and <laughs> watching more YouTube and and catching up on all your Netflix shows. So I'm going to try and do my part to get some, some good content on my channel for you guys who subscribe. So we've done a rescape here. We're starting with a 65 gallon. The plants that were in there, you may have seen in previous videos, we're just starting to wither away and die, you know, even though the, the fish waste is the should be enough fertilizer for them and the lighting was good. They just eventually start to die, even if you clean them off and whatnot, unless you have CO2 going and you're really an expert, it's hard to maintain the plants long term. So the decorations have been changed. As you can see, there is a large cave there on the left that was in my tank quite some time ago, and I just kind of brought it out of storage in one of the cabinets in the garage and thought the the blood parrots would like it and the other the other two cichlids that are in there as well they can all fit in there plenty of space to get in and out no no issues with them getting stuck or anything like that and when you put a large object in your tank it's always good to have something hollow like that that has you know entrances and exits that way they can actually use this the space it's not just a giant you know rock that this takes up their swimming area and they do like the caves to kind of hang out and they i've checked on them late at night and i see that they do sleep in there so they really do like that cave and and fireball used to go in that the the pyramid right there in the center but he seems to prefer the cave now just because it's easier to get in and out and the rock pile on the right there it was kind of put together with the purpose as well you can see that the fish can swim in and around the way the rocks are are stacked like that and the second one actually is a cave they can enter it from the left side we're looking there from the right side right now now we're looking over on the left side you can see one of the many entrances in that cave with the air stone going through the the window on the other side lower left you see there my my black convict on the top and my treto cichlid just below and my candy stripe pleco or real pleco stuck to the glass there next to the heater upside down on the left side and the blood parrots are doing great as always the one on the right there is flamethrower become a little more calm and less less in command i guess you could say compared to fireball on the right there and then Dynamite was almost as big as Fireball. There is my Treto Cichlid right there. Not a Frontosa, similar markings, but not as large as a Frontosa. It's from Lake Tanganyika. Mixed here with these American Cichlids and doing fine. Incredibly fast fish. You can just zoom from one side of the aquarium before you can even blink your eye. Can a look at the three larger blood parrots right there. Fireball is the most colorful and beautiful. Nobody can match his color. And he's the boss. Dynamite there to the left. Almost as large now, Dynamite. Getting up there in size, but not as bright. Had Dynamite since he was a really small fish. In fact, the first day I got him, there's a video on that. Some of you may have seen. Then we got this three smaller blood parrots right there, which I got on the same day. Not as colorful, a little bit more of a bland yellow on those three. I'll, I'll touch a little bit more on that later two filters in this tank marine land canisters i'd like them to be a little lower actually i could put an adapter and lower them but they really do the job they they they, they suck up all the debris pretty well and then haven't had any problems with this tank in terms of it being well maintained or water clarity get a look at my convict right there sticking out of the rocks sometimes they they can be a tank boss I've seen and heard of American cichlid tanks where the convict is in charge even if it's not the largest fish but that's not the case here I think mine's a male not that great at determining which ones are male and female sometimes there's my Rio Pleco two of them are in here actually they've been alive for quite some time they've been doing really really well in here 75 degrees in this tank good number for a American cichlid tank 
Also, going back to my three smaller blood parrots, I do have a suspicion that those were dyed. Sometimes you'll see a store will dye some of them pink or, or green or whatever. And I think that that happened to these three because they're not showing their, their typical bright orange that you'd expect. I'll put in the description where I got that cave and also the background. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also click that bell so you don't miss any of the updates. I'll be putting out some more stuff. Good time to catch up on my videos as it is a good time to work on whatever your hobbies are out there. We're holed up at home quite a bit more, so catch up on the things that you want to do. Thanks as always for watching. And we got a couple other videos that are going to be coming out really soon, in including one that I'm going to introduce you to my dog. So you don't want to miss that one. She's quite a, she's quite a, <laughs> she's quite adorable. Let's say that. You'll see. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.